Carter, what do you think was the key to uh, getting the running game going so well against Tech? Uh, I think we had three really good days of practice, uh, both offense and defense. Really got after it, and you know, when we had those really good competitive practices, you know, things you know carry over to the field. And uh, I think the offensive line, defensive line, really got after this past week in practice, and something we got to do again this week to really kind of uh, get our team going and get those you know starts like we did. And uh, yeah, it, that's what I really said about that. Is that kind of the game you guys love as an offensive line? You're just constantly running the ball. It seems like you're just, everyone's going downhill. Oh yeah, those are the great games. Those are the games where you feel like. Uh, you can do anything, you know, you run the ball for four or five yards to pop, um, we're eating the clock up, you know, we just have a lot of time possession for the game, and we just run the ball like that and kind of do what we want, it really makes opens up the offense too, you know, for things that we need a pass play here or there, you know, it really kind of sets the tone for it, we can come on and hit you, or we can play action, and you know, we can do all, th all things like that, so it was really fun, really, those are the games I love being in, the times you can go out there and drive for eight minutes and kind of do what you want, and I'm scoring at the end, so it's fun. What's it been like with this group? I mean, now it seems like you guys have had eight guys get significant playing time. I mean, do you feel like there's some depth growing there? Oh, definitely. The coaches have done a great job recruiting. You know, um, the redshirt freshman class this year, all great guys. Um, I feel as an offensive line, we have a lot of unity. We're really, really close. You know, we enjoy, we love, you know, you know, some teams might not like having the film session. We just love it. You know, we're constantly cracking jokes. We're just really close, you know, tight knit team. And so when people go down and things like that, it's kind of easier to step in and not have anyone kind of get upset with each other. Things like that. Everyone's encouraging each other. Everyone's, you know, helping and making, uh, putting things on the film that, you know, hey, take a better step here. It might help you out in this, you know, this way. So it's really kind of really tightly, tightly knit group, but it's really kind of fun to be a part of. James talked about how Chantrell has helped him. What's it been like with Braden helping you come in and assume that role at right time? Yeah, uh, Braden and I actually lived together. Uh, we've been really good friends since our freshman year. And, uh, you know, especially in home games and stuff, during the game, he'll be out on the sideline and I'll you know, ask him to watch my sets or watch my, you know, see if he sees anything. And it's really kind of, you know, having another set of eyes on you, it's always, it's always nice, especially, you know, even games you can't make it to, watching film on Sundays really help critiquing. Um, just little things that make, you know, a pass that easier or, you know, run block easier to do. Just kind of little things here and there that really, you know, he's been playing since last year all year, so he really knows his thing, you know, his trade. So it's, it's nice having a guy like that that I'm close to and really help me out with my game. And he's, you know, being very unselfish at the same time and, you know, helping us out.